G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Creme brulee is an incredibly delicious dessert and they can be rather pricey at restaurants, but they're very easy to make at home. But today I'm gonna to mix it up a little bit and make it even more decadent. So join me today as I make my version of a chocolate creme brulee. So we're going to start off by making our custard. And I have a pot on the stove on a low to medium heat. And to that I've just poured in two cups of thickened cream or whipping cream. Now to that I'm going to pour in a quarter cup of sugar. And over this low to medium heat, we're just going to continuously stir this just until the sugar is dissolved and the cream starts to come up to a slight simmer. Okay, so it is just starting to come up to a simmer now. So I've just turned it up to a medium heat. Next, we're going to pour in half a cup of dark chocolate. Now you can use milk chocolate, but I highly recommend dark chocolate. But keep in mind, it's still going to dissolve into all that milk. So you're just going to lose a lot of flavor if you use milk chocolate. So honestly, dark chocolate is the way to go. So we're just going to continuously stir this until the chocolate is completely melted and everything is nice and smooth. Okay, so next into a mixing bowl, we're going to place in five egg yolks. Now this is just the yolks, not the white part, or the clear part. And to that, three tablespoons of sugar. Now using a hair mixer or a stem mixer, we're going to whisk it through until the sugar is dissolved. Okay, so as you can see, the sugar has now been dissolved. So I've taken our mix off the stove. Now this is very important. We're going to pour it into the egg yolk mix as it's mixing. And because it's hot, we're going to do it a little bit at a time to temper the eggs. And if we do it too fast, what it's actually going to do is cook the eggs too fast, which will scramble the eggs. And you won't get that nice, smooth consistency. So while it's mixing, we're just going to do a little bit at a time. Okay, now that's all mixed in, I have a bowl. I'm just going to place a sieve on top. And we're just going to pour a mixture straight through the sieve. And this will just help get rid of any lumps that have formed during the whole process. And as you can see, We've got next to no lumps whatsoever. Okay, so I've got a baking tray here. I'm just going to add in four ramekins. And we're just going to simply pour our custard mixture into each ramekin. And I've got some boiling water. We're just going to fill in the baking tray until it's about halfway up the ramekins. And we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 120 degrees Celsius for about one hour, just until they're nice and jiggly and set. Okay, so it's been taken out of the oven and I've had it sitting in the fridge for about two to three hours to completely cool. And look at that, it is completely set. Now you don't have to serve it straight after you take it out of the fridge. You can keep it in the fridge for a few days and it'll be just fine. But there is one final step we're going to do to this before we serve it up. And for that, we're going to use some brown sugar. I'm just gonna sprinkle that just on top. Now you can use white sugar if you like, but the brown sugar gives a much nicer caramelization taste. So just spread it out so it's nice and even. And we're going to use a brulee torch. Now they're pretty inexpensive to buy from the shops, but if you don't have one, you can put it under the griller or broiler for America, just until the sugar starts to melt and caramelize. But I'm gonna use a brulee torch and we're just going to lightly burn it on the top. Not too much, too fast, otherwise you'll, you'll burn the sugar. We just want to caramelize it. And there we have it. Now once it sounds hard on top, just like that, that means the caramel has cooled down, it's nice and hard, and it's ready to dig into. Okay, so let's give this a try. Look how yummy and creamy that custard is. That is really good. Now creme brulees by themselves are already an incredibly delicious dessert. But what I've done is I've actually turned it into a chocolate version and just look at that creaminess. That is really, it's like velvet in your mouth. Mmm, oh that's delicious. So this really is an incredibly delicious dessert that you can pay top dollar for in the restaurants, but it's actually very, very cheap to make at home. And it really is worth every single second that you spend making it because it tastes simply delish. So if you've made creme brulee before and you're tired of the regular old vanilla one, make a chocolate version because it tastes that much better. 
or if you've never even had creme brulee before, make it anyway because I know that you will love it. And as always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter and Home Handy Hints channel where I put out three new Home Handy Hints videos every single week. And until then, please give this video a massive thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.